Did you know that according to the American Heartworm Society, it's estimated that over a million animals have heartworm in the United States? And the devastations of heartworm disease are not limited just to dogs and cats, but also to ferrets and other mammals. Hello, I'm Dr. Shelley Rubin, and I'm here for the American Veterinary Medical Association to talk to you about heartworm disease. I'm at the Anti-Cruelty Society in Chicago with my friend here, Princess Angela, who's been checked for heartworm and is on preventive. Dog owners seem to only worry about heartworm disease when it becomes spring, but in fact, heartworm disease is a year-round problem. It is found in every state in the United States. And it's very important from the onset that we mention that heartworm is transmitted only by the bite of a mosquito. It cannot be transmitted from dog to dog. The life cycle of heartworm is really quite simple. A mosquito bites an infected animal and takes up a blood meal. It could be your dog or it could be an infected wildlife animal such as a coyote. In the blood meal that the mosquito takes are baby heartworms. We call them microfilaria. These microfilaria will incubate within the mosquito for about 10 to 14 days. Then that mosquito goes to another dog, will take a blood meal, and at the same time will deposit the microfilaria on the skin of the dog. Now these are microfilaria that are infective. These little larvae will migrate down the puncture wound that the mosquito made when it drew the blood up and end up in the heart and the blood vessels of the lungs and will grow to 10 to 12 inch long worms. By seven to nine months after infection, these worms are sexually mature and will begin to pass microfilaria in the bloodstream of the pet. Another mosquito comes along, takes a blood meal, and the cycle goes on. So what are the signs of heartworm disease? In a recently infected dog, you may not see anything. But as the disease progresses, you may see a persistent cough, lethargy, lack of appetite, and loss of weight. The signs in cats are very nonspecific because they mimic many other diseases. There can be difficulty in breathing, there could be gagging, there may be vomiting, and the very early stages of heartworm in a cat are often diagnosed as bronchitis and asthma. If left untreated, heartworm disease can cause irreversible damage to the heart and the lungs. It's important to mention here that while we have a treatment for dogs, we do not have any available treatment for cats. Heartworm disease can be treated, but for less than the cost of a cup of fancy coffee every month, you can protect your pets against heartworm disease. A program of prevention overseen by your veterinarian is essential. The preventives come in many forms. They come in an oral monthly product, they come in a topical monthly product, and they come in an injectable product that can be given once every six months by your veterinarian. It's important to realize that many of these products also contain medications to control and prevent intestinal and external parasites. So by treating year-round, you're not only preventing heartworm during the warmer seasons, but you're also protecting the environment from zoonotic diseases, diseases that can be transferred from animal to man. An annual blood test is very important before preventives are started. It is important to know that your pet is negative for heartworm before starting any prevention medication. And what this protects your pet against is that if you start the prevention and your pet is positive for heartworm, then you could have a reaction that could be very serious. Heartworm medications are very, very excellent, but they must be given regularly. And missing one, two, or three months can lead to heartworm disease in your pet. Because mosquitoes can slip into the house, indoor pets are just as susceptible to heartworm disease. So please don't be a pet owner that says, it won't happen to me, because it can and it will. As always, working with your veterinarian is the best way to keep your pet healthy. For more information on heartworm disease, visit avma.org.